Sicilian, and I know a lot of you watch The Sopranos. That's not true. Not all Sicilians are in the mob. Some are in the witness protection program. <laughs> Sopranos isn't real because they don't hit their kids nearly enough, all right? My God. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. My grandfather, he used to be in the mob. He doesn't understand show business at all. I film a television show. I'm so proud of myself. Out of respect, first call, I'm like, Pop, I shot a pilot. He goes, oh my God, don't say that over the phone. <laughs> I was still trying to go, no, Pop, a TV pilot. He goes, I don't care what airline he works for. <laughs> you call me back from a payphone. <laughs> I ain't going down because you get sloppy. It is what it is. In our family, we tell the truth. Like, if you're an idiot, we call you an idiot. If you're a dirt bag, we call you a dirt bag. If you're a whore, we call you my brother's wife. That's just how. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to class? These poor young girls nowadays walk around town in the outfits they see Brittany and Christina have on. Two potato chips and a Band-Aid, right? <laughs> Then they think that they're sexy just because a man wants to sleep with them. No, I grew up with all boys. Just because a man wants to sleep with you does not mean you're sexy. Because my brothers will hump a couch if the cushions are fluffy enough, all right? <laughs> That's just a biological function, right? There's not a knot hole in a tree in North America that hasn't had a little pee-pee shoved in it at one point. <laughs> That's why they call it a woody, I swear to you. I... <laughs> I listen at the door when they have meetings. I grew I mean, I grew I don't even know how to flirt. That's, I grew up with so many guys, I don't even know how to flirt. I'm a woman, but I can't flirt. I flirt like the guy Joey from Friends. How you doing, you know? I don't know. My, like, this comedy thing is really cool for me because, you know, I get to do a lot of fun things. I did a charity show for the Playboy Foundation. I don't know what their charity is. 13-year-old boys who go blind for reading the magazine. I don't know. I don't know. I go to this party, I don't fit in, I'm not very girly. These girls, they're like size double zero. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're mean because they're hungry, you know? <laughs> like, what the, you know? I'm just a girl from the neighborhood. They got girls, you know who's there, that Paris Hilton girl? Oh, I'm proud of her. She's breaking down barriers, really. Proof you don't have to be poor to be white trash, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just be... <laughs> Somebody needs to say that stuff. You don't have to be perfect. What's going on, women? We don't have to be perfect. You can't be. This girl came up to me and she goes, um, excuse me, who did your boobs? I go, God. She goes, where's his office? I go, Jerusalem, now get away from me. Don't you think if I'd have had that kind of money, I'd have had my nose fixed first? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who cares? I'm a female comedian. How good looking do I have to be? Who set the precedent? Roseanne, Paula Poundstone. I win. You know? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I don't care. What are they going to do? Get mad? My people are just a phone call away. Who cares? It's just fun for me. I don't know what I was doing over at that stupid party, and I drank a little bit too much, and when women get drunk, they have to announce it. I'm drunk, woo! <laughs> high five, high five. <laughs> that exact second, every guy's head in that entire place just goes <laughs> Ding, 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 we got a winner. Because <laughs> for men, it's like watching the Discovery Channel. They wait for the weak one to fall off from the herd, you know? <laughs> They're like, darter, put her on the top of the truck. We got a live one, Earl, let's go! Back it up, you got tags? Come on. You know who else was there at that stupid party? Uh, Donald Trump. His hair is so bad that it would be less distracting if he hired a hairy midget to sit on his head. <laughs> Don't you think? What the hell is going on? I got so distracted, they had put me in this stupid trampoline contest to raise money. Them skinny broads, they're mean. They drop kicked me off the trampoline. I go flying on my butt, down a hill, into a pond, a peacock goes to attack me. I think I'm paralyzed, but I'm just drunk, stuck in the mud. And all I can picture is a phone call to my parents' house. Mr. and Mrs. Pescatelli, we're sorry to inform you, but your daughter's been paralyzed. Oh my God, what happened? 
Well, she was drunk and she fell off the trampoline at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Leave the whore there. <laughs> I couldn't walk for three days and I'm gonna tell you something. You could talk about class and self-respect and dignity all you want, but when you can't walk for three days after going to a party at the Playboy Mansion, Nobody believes it has anything to do with an unfortunate trampoline accident, okay? Good night. God bless you. Thank you very much.